So after a tiring day at the Disneyland, we wake up late in the morning, had our breakfast, and this was our second last day in Hong Kong. Tomorrow we are leaving back to India. It was a wholesome vacation. So we had some pool time in the hotel itself. We had never come here, so we explored here, and kids enjoyed a lot. It was a gloomy day again, but then it was fine. The water was little cold. so they played for a while because we had our, our cable car the tin tan buddha nyong ping village tour booked at 2 o'clock so driver troll he'll come and pick us up at 1 o'clock so we all came to room got fresh enough i packed lunch as always took a lot of snacks and we came to the cable car so this was also pre booked and we got this transparent cable car because that was uh, we opted for i wanted to have a very beautiful view because i heard it's gorgeous and it was amazing guys if you are going to hong kong please do this it's worth it's gorgeous you see the ocean below you you see the mountains above this fog this clouds on the mountains it's just mesmerizing the view itself was so good the cable car took like 30 minutes to reach the village it was little scary since it was a first time on cable car for such a long uh, thing but it was nice i could see people doing trekking below you can do that as well but with kids obviously we couldn't so you can see the mountains are fully uh, blocked with the clouds so this is the village it was so nice and clean you have a bodhi tree there is the second largest sitting buddha ka statue it's called as tin tan so this is the village they have made lot of uh, shops lot of you know local shops local eateries so this is like 260 steps you have to take to reach the buddha we did that clicked a lot of pictures had lunch here since the kids were little hungry uh, i packed a lot of thing but my son wanted to eat pizza so we took pizza we took a subway <coughs> came back and then we planned to do sky deck because i wanted to see hong kong from 100th floor so we came to sky deck directly from nongping village kids slept in the car for some time and how beautiful gorgeous experience even this was oh my god i cannot forget it it was just amazing i don't know how burj khalifa is in dubai it's still in my bucket list but this one was just so good we paid for this it is an expensive affair uh, indian rupees ke hisab se it was 5000 for two kids and two of us but it was all worth it so the fly the lift went in like seconds from zero to top and our ears were blocked for sure so i was covering up ears of my kids as well because the younger one is too small to take that ear kind of pressure i didn't wanted him to have some pain so we reached there they had made this light it was neat and clean very well managed uh, we took a lot of pictures lot of videos here because why not we have come to make memories as a family together and it was just amazing so this was the view from the 100th floor like hong kong is beautiful it's gorgeous it's amazing i love the city the port the ocean the mountains the weather was gloomy uh, rainy but it was beautiful you can see the view it's so 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 beautiful guys uh, so we spent like an hour here doing this took a lot of pictures of course and you can buy your photos as well obviously there was a photo booth and it was very expensive i felt big we had good phones to capture so i was fine so i took a round you have a cafe also it's a cafe 100 but it's carlton where you can have sip a coffee and take some croissants because we had everything in the yongping village i was not hungry i wanted to grab something for only dinner so and i wanted to explore one more street market before leaving because i had a few gifts which i wanted to pick uh, for everyone so we took a lot of cameras from here on the street markets of temple street we took a lot of uh, mini fans for kids so all of that we had done so i was like we should do one more uh, uh, temple street or kowloon street which we hadn't covered so i thought we'll do that and then we can go back for dinner and not pack dinner in the hotel room because it creates mess and the smell uh because it's a closed small room the smell of the food doesn't go for a long time and we didn't have any room freshener so we went we sat in the car and then again we left for the street market so this time our driver drop, dropped us at a mall so we really didn't wanted to do a mall mall ka shopping so we came out of the mall explored on the streets and it was so crowded so all these places in hong kong have this beige white and black 
I didn't see people wearing any other color like for 90% of the times they were only beige white and black and I was surprised to see the stores also but guys Hong Kong is expensive you cannot shop a lot from here because the same prices you get in India as well so we went as usual to our Adda Moti palace and we had the rice the lemon soda was very good paneer bindi ki sabji and then we ordered one dosa for this tingu but then he was also eating with us only uh, the rice chutney papad and all of that so we had a very good meal if you are going to hong kong go to this restaurant called moti palace in simsha sui and then we called it a night see you in my next vlog and subscribe